Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different. We're not doing cards. I am actually going to show you how I put on this marble topper, it's contact paper, on my daughter's desk in her room. So first let me show you what I'm using. I went for this marble paper matte removable peel and stick. Removable is questionable. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. But this is marble paper that is not shiny. And I wanted to make sure that you knew that because I think in some of the pictures it looked shiny. It is matte. It says matte. And uh, my daughter really loved that look. And so we went with it and it came out really pretty. I'm also using these tools. Anything in the like would be good, but a uh, an X-Acto knife and a uh, wallpaper kind of applicator will help you in this process. Okay, so the first thing is I wanted to lay out and talk to you about um, in this first part of the video, it does, the camera moves a lot. So if that makes you nauseous, you probably uh, don't want to watch this video. Um, but I am showing you here how you want to lay out your first piece and you want to get it where you have enough laying over each side. And then I use a little tip with some tape and I hold it in place so it doesn't shift around as I start the application process. And so I start right at the top here and I go over the corner. Now you don't want to press down over the corner just yet. I'm going to come back to that and we're going to pull it really, really tight. Um, but while I am getting started, I want to make sure that I have everything lined up. So for example, I'm making sure that my contact paper is 13 and a little bit over a half all the way down. And that's what, why I taped it. I want to make sure it stayed at that distance. It wasn't perfect. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a makeup for something that turned out not so perfect um, as far as the lineup goes. When I say over to the corner here, you're going to just pull real, real tight and make that corner really nice and smooth on the top. Okay, I cannot recommend enough when you're doing this. Move in very small increments. So um, after I get this pulled down, I'm going to actually come back to that and clean it up because you want enough of the overhang so that you can tuck under cleanly. And I did not have that, so I had to slice it off. Okay, um, right here on the corner, I am not a corner perfectionist, so uh, this is probably the hardest part of this entire job, and I still think it turned out pretty good. But I'm going to snip off the corner, and I'm going to fold it over. So I show you that again, I believe, in a little bit later on, but you just want to get it just as smooth as you possibly can without a lot of bumps, but you're going to need to snip off some of that edge, kind of like put a slit right in the center of it so you can fold. Now let's go to the form, the actual application here. I'm going to tell you if you buy this particular contact paper, it is not removable. Like maybe off the wall with texture behind it, but on this smooth desk surface, I found a bubble and I could I had such a hard time pulling it back off. So it is going to stick, that is for sure. Um, but you want to move in very, very small increments because of that potential. If you go too fast, you're going to get a bubble and then it's going to be really, really hard to pull back to fix. Okay, so that's my recommendation. This um, smoothing tool right here, this applicator tool is really, really helpful. You can probably just get something, anything like this, anything with a sharp edge or not sharp, but like a strong edge that you can place up against your contact paper will work. Okay, so it doesn't have to be this particular tool. Okay, so here I'm showing you there's a bubble and this is me trying to pull this back. Like I am using brute force trying to get this back on itself so I can smooth out that bubble. Very difficult. I actually came out in the end with one or two tiny bubbles throughout. Um, and so I was really, really happy about that. My daughter's filming right now, so you can see, um, you know, it's a little wobbly. But I do set it up where it doesn't move here in a second for the second half. Okay, so we're going to work our way all the way to the end. At the end, like I said, you want to have enough excess on the edge that you can tuck it underneath your desk. That's my greatest recommendation because I feel like it tucks really nicely. So right here on this side, you'll see I'm pulling and pulling and pressing as I go. Okay, so that's how you want to do on a pull and press. All right, so that is really the best way to get the smoothest uh, application. And then here we have the end. Now I use my X-Acto knife to slice away some of that excess on the edge um, and to clean up the corners a bit. Here we are so far. 
Okay, here's another edge look. So you wanna snip and then just fold, almost like you're wrapping a present. So you wanna do that. Just kinda of have a game plan before you do it, I think is probably the best. Um, and practice on the side that's not gonna show as much. <laughs> so when I originally planned this, I wanted to do the back side of the desk first to get some practice and I forgot. So this is what we're doing and I, I made it work. Okay, now I have the camera set up and I'm just gonna go through the second part here and I'm gonna do this pretty quickly. Again, just to go over some of the tips, lay out your piece, cut off what you want, make sure you have an overlay on both or all three sides. This, um, the one that I'll link in the description box below is the size that I purchased because the smaller roll was too small. And so now I'm going through and I want to get this lined up as perfectly as possible. Here's what happened. So I realized that in order for me to have it go with the, uh, go straight across the middle, okay, to go straight across the middle, I actually needed to overlap it a tiny bit. And because that was more important, getting a straight middle was more important than lining it up directly with the piece that was already on there, there was a little bit of a um, shift in how much it overlaid. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that my first go at this was not perfectly straight. The second go, which I'm showing you now, actually turned out to be straight across the middle. Okay, so it's even straight through the middle. But you can, if you looked real close, you can kind of see that it looked like it wasn't because of the first one being uneven. So I show you how to fix that, how we fixed it um, at the end of this video. All right, so I'm gonna go through here. You see me speed doing it. This I wish it took this quick. <laughs> I wish it was this fast. It was not. It took uh, quite a bit longer to do. Again, you can see my frustration when I am trying to pull up some of those bubbles. This stuff is so sticky, which is really great. You just have to know how to use it. Again, pulling really tightly and then pressing down. This one I had more overlay. So you can see on that first part right there, I went and cleaned that up and it looks really nice. And now I am learned my lesson from the first one. And now I'm gonna go through and do this piece. So here I snip a corner and then I can tuck that under piece through or cut it off. And then I'm gonna cut across where I had that little bend in the leg. I highly recommend using an X-Acto knife or a razor blade with this process. You're gonna get a very clean cut and it cuts very nicely. Okay, so, oh, we're dog sitting. That's our little visitor under there. His name is Lalo. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna leave this piece for later. I'm gonna walk through, do the same exact thing as I did on the other one, so I'm not gonna keep this whole part in the video. But here you can see me coming back to it and just slicing off that little piece again. So yeah, so it makes it really nice. Now this part, I didn't feel looked as clean right around the corner. It is the back part of the desk, but I wanted to clean it up a little bit. So what I did was I took an extra piece of the contact paper or vinyl, and I'm just trying to cover that uh, kind of, it looks like a rough edge. So I'm just kind of covering that up. And once you press it hard enough, it's good. All right, so this is what we're working with so far. I loved it. I thought this was so, so pretty. It's like this blush pink with a little bit of gold in it. If you looked closer, not on camera, you could see that the underlay was a little bit off. So what we're going to do is we thought, let's put a strip down the middle, but this gold did not match. So we came in with something much better. I went to my stash and I found this beautiful gold uh, ribbon. It's almost like a blush gold or a rose gold and it matched really, really pretty. And it's hard to see it on camera, but I thought, okay, now I'm going to put this down again. We're going through. I'm going to make sure that this is as lined up as possible. Now you would think if I just lined it up over the seam, it would be perfect. And you're absolutely right. It would be. Except the ribbon, I can't see the seam once I put the ribbon on it. So I just did a couple measurements just to try to get it as straight as I could. I'm heating up my glue gun and here I'm gonna go and stand directly in your way when I'm trying to show you what to do. All right, so I'm gonna put it right underneath and I'm gonna go along the entire seam just like that. And as I go, I kind of stop and reposition and I get take a look at it and make sure that it's still looking straight 
across the way and this worked really well. Now, will it hold up over time with her using the desk and putting stuff on? I, you know, I, I don't know. And I'm a little skeptical if I'm honest. Just because, you know, it's only hot glue and it might pop right off. I can always replace it. I can use stronger double-sided adhesive. That might work. Um, you know, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I thought this was a really great place to start. Now, she will have a desk mat on her desk to put her uh, her keyboard and kind of work surface area, so it might not get fiddled around with too much, but I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. But for right now, we are loving it. I think it's really, really pretty. I love, actually, the seam line right in the center with that gold uh, sparkly ribbon. I think it's super fun. And this is sort of the finished look. We're putting her whole room together. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did her whole accent wall, and it was, it, I have an update for that. Well, check me out there. <laughs> but this is the final pictures. All right, I hope this was helpful if you're in the same endeavor. This is super fun. Hit me up with questions in the comment section. I'm happy to help you out if I can. I will see you all down there in the comments below or in the next video. All right, bye-bye. If you are interested in hanging out with me and other social media platforms, you can click the link below and head to the list of places we can connect. Also, if you'd like to be added to my email list, you'll see that link as well. And that's where I send out lots of updates. And if I see any great sales, you'll be the first to know.